Hi and welcome Band Lab lovers. It's Felix here from Inclusive Music and today we're going to look at what we can do with the pre-recorded loops. Many people think it's just cheating, just taking loops off the shelf and using them in your song composition. But actually we can get really creative. So let's have a look at how we do that. First of all I'm going to go to Browse Loops and today I fancy a bit of R&B Essentials. So I'm going to click on there. I like that one, so in it goes. And I'm going to move it to bar one. Okay, let's have another beat. Quite like that. Let's put that in underneath. Let's have a listen to them together. Okay. And a third beat goes in. Okay, if it's too short, I can copy it by going to the top right hand corner. And there we go, three beats. Okay, sound good together already, but let's have a look at what we can do to just change these beats. First, I'm going to select all of them. So I can click on them, first one, hold down shift, and hold down shift again, and now I have them all. And what we're going to do is go to bar two, right click, and slice. So now you see, each one has been sliced at bar two. Let's do that again. Bar three. And right click, slice. Now bar four, right click, slice. So now we've got four different sections to each beat. And we can have a bit of fun messing around with this individual slices. There's a number of things we can do. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just copy what I had originally, which was deep beat zero one. There it is, deep beat zero one. I just put it up there as a comparison. Let's just make a bit of space and start moving these beats around. So let's call it section two, it's gone to four. Section four is going to, section one's going to go there, section four is there, and we've reordered it. Here's the original. And now, this is what we made with it. Lovely, I like that. Let's do the same for this. Number one, we can just put over here. And let's have number four to number one. Number two goes to the there. This one goes to there. And that one fits in here. Rewind and solo the second beat. Here we go. Okay, great stuff. Let's solo the first one again. Rewind. Take this one. I'm going to go halfway and slice it in between bar four and five. Right click, slice. Move that. Let's have a listen to this. Okay. Now, if I drag this, I'll get that beat back. Let's make sure I'm accurate. There we go. So you see what happens now is I've just copied that small bit. And once again, that can completely change the feel of the song. Let's do the same thing here. 
we'll copy just that section for two bars. Now, what happens if we move this around? Move that around and let's drag these in. Perhaps we just repeat it twice. This can be four times. Let's do something really interesting, which is a zoom in with the last one. How about we cut this one bar loop into four parts? Right click, slice. Right click, slice. Right click, slice. There we go. Okay, now what happens if we just get that last one and repeat it? And then we'll uh, copy this one. Right click, copy. How about putting it there? Right click, paste. Uh, this section, right click, copy. We want it there, right click, paste. Let's copy it. Who knows what this is gonna turn out like. Now, to hear it in a loop, repeating itself would always be useful. So I'm gonna turn on the loop cycle there. Let's move this over here. Uh, there, so we're now going to repeat this beat over and over again. Like that, very good. Okay, what else could we do? What if we reverse a section? Let's try this one. Let's have a listen. Okay, right click, reverse region. You can see it moved to the right. It's just basically gone backwards. Let's have a listen. Quite odd, but quite interesting. If we wanted to undo that, we could go up here and it's back to where it was. Great thing about this is always experiment, see how it sounds. Let's try this one, right click, reverse. I like that, that's interesting. Okay, what else could we do? Right click. We could make that more noticeable by splitting this here. So slice that. And the second one, because that's repeated, that's the first one, that's a, a, a re repetition of the first one. Right click, audio stretch, upper semitone. There we go. Let's go do the same thing. Audio stretch, upper semitone. Let's go one more time, just to make it really obvious what we've done. Taking up that drum, little drum beat up three semitones now from here. Excellent. I might completely delete that. Select all those, drag them back to bar one. No, let's drag them to f bar three because we're going to bring in the original loop again, which was deep beat zero one. There it is. There goes the original beat. Let's have remind ourselves what that sounds like. Copy that. But just for two bars, and then I'm gonna put in the new two bars that I've created. So from the beginning. Here comes the new bit. We 
We could do the same thing with another instrument. Okay, here's a challenge. Let's solo that. So now we've got the beat and the piano together. Okay, exactly the same procedure. Copy it for four bars. Let's splice it up. Slice. Slice again, slicing on the bar at the moment, each bar, slice, and finally, slice. Okay, we'll start by messing around with the order. Let's do that. else could we do? Well, how about slicing each bar in half, so it's half a bar long. Slice. How about reversing that bit? Slicing that bit. Total experimentation at the moment. No idea what this will turn out like. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't work, we can try something else. But what we're looking for is something really quite interesting. We can also remember, copy a little part of it, so it repeats. Using this bottom handle, we can cut it halfway and then copy the section we've cut. So there's another interesting technique. Let's see what we've got. I like that. Let's hear it in context. So what I mean by that is I like to hear it repeated. So we'll have this cycle here and then move it. And now it's going to cycle from bar five to bar nine over and over again. So I get a feel of what this, this is like. Sounding good to me. What about a ride glockenspiel? Okay, interesting. Okay, that's quite quiet, so we can uh, turn that up a little bit, perhaps. Personally, I didn't like the beginning bit. It seemed a little bit out of tune, so I'm going to take that off. And let's try chopping these up. We're getting used to this now. Right click, slice. Next half bar, right click, slice. Finally, last half bar, right click, slice. Okay, we could reorder them. We could copy one. Copy that, put it in. Yes, I know. what I like about that is the piano repeats there, and so does the end of this section, the glockenspiel. Let's just have a listen to those together from here.
Excellent. So there you can see how we can completely change a section from taking a normal loop just straight off the shelf, mashing it up, reversing it, slicing it, reordering it, and creating something really original. Go and have fun. Go and experiment. Go and find some new sounds. Be creative. Be original. Make your own music that you love.